hello and this is the video to help you do the online exercise called angles in a triangle so let's get going well first you need to know a little bit about angles about how angles measure the amount of turning so if there's a little bit of turning we say that is an acute angle if there's an exact quarter turn that's a right angle that's an obtuse angle and turning sort of halfway around will give you a straight line well we measure angle in degrees and a right angle is 90 degrees a straight line is 180 degrees and that's one thing you need to know it was many many years ago when i was in primary school that I was shown this trick, that if you take the three angles of any triangle and put them together, they will fit exactly on a straight line. And that's true for any triangle, whether it be a right angle triangle, an equilateral triangle, an isosceles triangle, they will always fit together to make a straight line. And that angle on a straight line is exactly 180 degrees. So this shows that the three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So that fact is true of all triangles. The angles always add up to 180 degrees. Just as can be seen here in this triangle that I can move around, change the size of the angles, but wherever I move these points to, the three angles will always add up to 180 degrees. So how can we use that knowledge to solve some problems? Okay, here we have a triangle and two of the angles have been given and the other one is for us to find out. So we could do this in our head and say, well, because the three angles add up to 180 degrees, if I take the two that I'm given, the 80 and the 30, they add up to 110 degrees. So if I take 110 away from 180, I'm left with 70 degrees. So the size of angle B must be 70 degrees. But what's the best way to do this on the calculator? Well, rather than doing two operations, adding the 80 and the 30 and then taking away from 180, we could do it all in one go. So we could start with the number of degrees in the whole triangle, and then we could subtract the 80, and then we could subtract the 30, and this could all be done in one line on the calculator to give us that answer of 70. Okay, so here's another example, just the same idea, and let's do this one on the calculator, 180 minus 27 minus 85 equals 68. So the missing angle must be 68 degrees. Now this triangle is a right angle triangle. You can tell because at C you can see there's a little square being drawn in the angle to show that this is a right angle or 90 degrees. So we just solve the problem in the same way as we've done before. We'll start with the 180, the, the sum of the angles in the triangle, and then we'll subtract the 46 because we know about that one, but we'll also subtract 90. That's the right angle. And this time we get an answer of 44 degrees. 
Now this triangle, we aren't told any of the angles, but we can see that it's equilateral triangle. The three sides are all the same length. You can tell by the little dashes in the middle of the sides that those three sides are all the same length. So all of the angles must be the same as well because the triangle has rotational symmetry of order 3. This time, to work it out, we'll do 180. That's all of the angles, but because there are three of them and they're all, they are all equal, we can divide by 3, and we get the answer 60 degrees. So each of the angles is 60 degrees. Now this triangle is an isosceles triangle. That means two of its sides are the same length. And it also means the angles opposite the equal sides are the same size. So the angle at B must also be 57. So let's say we have to work out the value of the angle at A. Well, we do it in the same way. 180 degrees minus the 57 that's at the bottom left. But because there are two of those, we need to take away two 57s to get the answer 66. Here's another isosceles triangle. This time we're told that one of the angles is 36 and it's the other two unknown angles that are equal. So we need to subtract 36 from 180 and then whatever the result is, share it equally between those two angles at A and C. So I think what we'll do here is we'll first of all, in brackets, because we want to do this operation first, we'll do 180 minus 36, and then close the brackets, and whatever answer we get, we'll divide that by 2. And that's the simplest way to do this in one go on the calculator. So here we have triangle ABC and the side CB has been extended to produce an exterior angle at B. So one way of doing this would be to first find the interior angle at B by subtracting the 85 and the 27 from 180 to get 68. So the 68 is the interior angle at B. Now because the interior and the exterior angles are on a straight line, if I subtract 68 from 180, what's left will be that exterior angle. 180 minus 68 gives us 112. So the exterior angle is 112. But can you spot the fact that 112 is what you get when you add together 85 and 27? So can you see why? That's a quick way of working out that particular exterior angle. Okay, here we have a bit of a more complicated diagram and we're asked to find the value of x. Well, let's see. The big triangle is split into two smaller triangles, and triangle BCD is an isosceles triangle, which means the angles opposite the equal sides are equal, so that angle must also be 75. And now let's look at angle ADB. That is on a straight line with that 75 degree angle. So they must add up to 180. So subtracting 75 from 180 gives that angle to be 105 degrees. And now just looking at the top triangle ADB, we know two of the angles, so we can work out 180 minus 105 minus 40 equals the angle X must equal 35 degrees. And finally, 
a triangle where all the angles are given as algebraic expressions. But the result still holds true that those three angles added together will total 180 degrees. So we can write that down as an equation. That x plus 2x plus x plus 20 equal 180. So collecting like terms will give me 4x plus 20 equals 180. Subtract 20 from both sides and I get 4x is equal to 160. So x is equal to 40 degrees. And that's how you work out the answer to that question. Okay, now it's your turn to have a go at the online exercise. Don't forget to press the check button regularly as you're working through the questions to see if you're getting them right. And if you make a mistake, have another thing and correct your answer and then press that check button again. Don't forget to claim your trophy when you've got to the end. And there are lots more activities on the Transom website for you to have a go at to improve your mathematics and you can claim hundreds of trophies. So, what are you waiting for? Get going! Bye! You can find Transom Mathematics at www.transom.org where you're welcome to use all of the activities absolutely free. Or jump in with both feet and become a Transom subscriber.